Welcome to Timeless Tales. Join our Bible's literature series where ancient stories come alive. Discover the Bible like never before as captivating narratives, not just sacred texts. Your literary adventure awaits. Dive into the Bible with us, a tapestry of tales and truth, where the sacred texts shape community conversation. From Jerusalem to the ends of the earth, the early Christian impact in Acts. The book of Acts, written by the same author as Luke's Gospel, recounts the activities of Jesus' follower from around 30 to 60 AD. It was written retrospectively, looking back on early formative period of Christian community. In this lecture, we will focus on the first 11 chapters of Acts, exploring the formation of early Christian community and the conflict that shaped its identity and its expansion to include people from different ethnic groups. Formation of the community, the story in the Acts, begin after Jesus' resurrection with the disciples still in Jerusalem. Jesus tells that the Holy Spirit will come upon them and they will be witness in Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. The following chapters depict the disciples gradually moving outward as the Spirit of God descend upon them. The process starts in chapter 2, where the writer portrays the early church forming as a renewal movement within Judaism. The pivotal moment is the arrival of God's Spirit to the disciples on the Jewish festival of Pentecost. The event signifies the beginning of a new community. The disciples are filled with the Holy Spirit and begin speaking in different languages. For the writer of Acts, this miracle of communication demonstrates the Spirit's power to convey the message of Jesus in various languages. It challenged the idea that a common language is necessary for forming an empire. From this point onward, the early Christian community faces the task of maintaining its belief while adapting to different languages and cultures. Peter delivers a speech in Acts chapter 2, interpreting the experience of God's Spirit as the fulfillment of the prophecy. He quotes the prophet Joel, who envisioned the outpouring of God's Spirit on the people, regardless of age, gender, or social status. The response to Peter's message is positive, and the new believers form a community where they share their resources and live harmoniously. However, the ideal community proved challenging to sustain. Internal conflicts arise, and the writer of Acts explore how the community deals with these challenges. In chapter 6, a conflict emerged between the Hebrews and the Hellenist, two groups within the Jewish Christian community in Jerusalem. The dispute centers around the fair distribution of food to widows in each group. The issue of resources generates conflict, but conflict also leads to change. The author recognizes that conflict is a persistent feature of social life. Peter and the disciples respond constructively by appointing leaders to oversee the distribution of food. However, newer leaders like Stephen became key spokesperson for the Christian message causing further opposition from the wider Jewish community. Stephen delivers a speech recounting the history of Israel 
and highlighting the theme of conflict within the nation. He asserts the opposition to God's purposes culminated in the unjust execution of Jesus. Stephen's message provoked outrage, and he is stoned to death. Yet, like Jesus, Stephen forgives his murderers before his death. Expansion of the community contrary to the expectations. Conflicts does not bring an end to the Christian community, but leads to its expansion. After Stephen's death, position intensifies and many followers of Jesus leave Jerusalem and establish communities elsewhere. This expansion raises new issues of how to relate to people from different backgrounds. In chapter 8, Philip, one of the Hellenists, goes to Samaria, a region with historical tensions between Samaritans and Jews. Philip brings the message of Jesus and performs healings among the Samaritans, demonstrating that ethnic tensions should not hinder the sharing of faith. The narrative also reveals that the early followers of Jesus resist practices such as sorcery or magic, clarifying their identity as followers of Christ. Philip continues his travels and encounters an Ethiopian court official, who is also a eunuch. According to Jewish law, Eunuchs were excluded from the community of Israel, but Philip boldly baptized the Utopian, demonstrating that ethnicity and physical condition are overcome through a common faith. In chapter 10, the community expands further into a non-Jewish world. A Roman military officer named Cornelius plays a significant role in this story. Despite the cultural barriers, Cornelius and his household received the message of Jesus and are baptized. This expansion challenges the boundaries of early Christian community, welcoming people from different backgrounds into the faith. In summary, the early chapters of Acts depict the formation of the Christian community, the conflicts it faces, and its expansion to include diverse ethnic groups. The community emerged as a renewal movement within Judaism powered by the Holy Spirit to communicate the message of Jesus in different languages. Internal and external conflicts shape its identity, and the community navigates these challenges while embracing the vision of united and inclusive faith. Stay enthralled with epic sagas and ageless wisdom. Continue with us in our Bible as Literatures series. Unearth stories and symbols in a fresh literary light. The next chapter of your riveting journey is just around the corner. As we conclude our exploration of the early chapters of Acts, we witness the powerful formation of the Christian community and its incredible expansion to include diverse ethnic groups. The journey from Jerusalem to the far reaches of the earth is a story of faith, conflict, and the unifying power of the Holy Spirit. Thank you for joining us on this enlightening journey through the formative years of the Christian community. If this deep dive into the early church has captivated you, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon. You won't want to miss our next episode, episode 33, Paul's transformative journey from persecutor to advocate. This upcoming lecture promises a fascinating look at one of Christianity's 
most influential figures, exploring his profound transformation and pivotal role in the faith's expansion. Stay tuned for more insights and discoveries as we continue to delve into the rich tapestry of early Christian history. Remember, each episode is a step deeper into the understanding the roots and growth of Christian belief. So, subscribe now and let's continue this journey together.